Hello, my name is James and I am the author of the GamerGuides.com Pikmin 3 Guide and in this video we're going to have a look at taking out the Scornet Maestro who is the fourth boss in Pikmin 3. The platinum time for this boss is 3 minutes in challenge mode and unfortunately the Scornet Maestro doesn't come with as many little tricks as say the Mere Slug uh, which I'll explain in a sec when we get there, but first thing you need to do in the challenge mode is pluck the Pikmin and you want to pluck the pink Pikmin first. I tend to just go with all three of my captains rather than split them up because three captains pluck, they all pluck at the same time. So it's quick and you can normally get all the pinks out before the Scornet launches into its first attack. To avoid this attack you simply have to move under the Scornet when the eyes of all its little helpers turn red and then we're just launching Pink Pikmin at it. Right, now here's the quirk. The Scornet Maestro, you can only remove a quarter of its health in every attack phase, which makes it a bit tricky. And also, the only time you can ground it is after all its little helpers have been launched. If you throw Pink Pikmin at it before, then they can deal damage, but they can get shaken off, or you can cool them off. You can deal a bit of damage, cool them off, wait for the Scornet to shake and send them back. That's not a problem, but... If you leave them on and they get shaken, then you're just wasting time. But yeah, so you have to wait for all of the little ones to finish before you can ground it. Now, in this, um, after you attack it first time, it's worth grabbing the other Pikmin from around the stage. You're not, you're barely going to use them, if I'm honest, but it's something to do while you wait. The second attack from the Scornet is identical to the first attack, and again, you can only remove a quarter of its health. So you can get the Scornet down to half health now. The third attack is when things get a little bit different. The Scornet's going to line up all its little helpers to launch at you in lines, unsurprisingly, in horizontal lines. What you can do to trick the Scornet is throw the, the other two captains away and take control of them, and you want to remain in control of these captains until the Scornet starts to ready its attack, because it will ready its attack at those captains and all of your Pikmin will remain completely safe. Again, attack and remove another quarter of its health. Once this has been done, revert back to the other captains, and the final attack will involve the Scornet sending a ring of its helpers around your units. And again, if you're in control of the two captains, you can trick it out, and it'll just send a ring around the captains. And then you beat the Scornet by, again, throwing a Pikmin at it once the bees have done their attack. And this should, get, this should easily net you a time of around 2 minutes 30 without much trouble. Unfortunately, when you play the story, normally Ultra Spicy Spray really helps you to beat a boss even quicker, but because of the way the score on its health works, this isn't the case. Because even if you Ultra Spicy your Pink Pikmin, they can still only remove a quarter of the health. You remove that quarter quicker, but you still have to wait for the score to go into attack patterns, so it, it's not even necessarily worthwhile spending your spray against this boss. So just use this tactic in... The, in the story mode, and if anything, bring a large, large army of pink paper with you. But yes, this is how you get a platinum medal against the Scornet, and hopefully this video helped, and don't forget to check out the full guide at GamerGuides.com.